you come in today and you've got left leg pain mm -hmm. when you walk, mm -hmm. um, is it worse, worse if you go up a hill or mm -hmm. it is? Okay. What we're going to do is do these blood pressures of your arms and your legs and we're going to compare the two blood pressures. It's called segmental pressures. We're going to take a blood pressure at your ankle, your calf and one on your thigh. And what we're looking for is a blood pressure drop from cuff to cuff because when you're laying down flat or semi-flat, the blood pressure in your arms should be the same as it is at your ankles. And so we're looking for a difference in blood pressure and that will tell us if there's a blockage somewhere between the two different cuffs. So we're going to wrap you up in the cuffs and then we'll do the blood pressure using the Doppler and you'll hear a noise while I take the blood pressure. It's exactly the same as a normal blood pressure. Okay. okay. I'm just going on YouTube. I don't want to be wrong. I don't want people to think that we've got... <laughs> 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 well, let's do these here. Does it depend on if, if she said she was having trouble on her right leg, you do the right or do we're you do both? both? We're okay. going to do both. I'm going to compare them. Um, a lot of the time people have disease in both sides and they don't even know it because one's worse than the other. Right. <clears throat> so a little bit of gel. It's a little cold. Did you want to do toe pressure there now? No. <laughs> ah, well, it's working. You also <laughs> compare arm to arm because if this arm is about 20 points lower than this arm, we know there's some kind of disease going Somewhere. on over here. Yeah. So you don't have to move that around, you, you just put it no, on? No, you put it around the artery and then you've been doing it for many, many years, you can pretty much find the artery. Okay. So can you hear the blood flow too? Well, when you, when you inflate, you're actually cutting the blood supply off mm -hmm. and then you let the, the cuff down and when you hear the beat come back, that's the blood pressure. Oh. So we're going to measure two vessels, that was the dorsalis pedis, we're also going to measure there are three arteries in the, that go to the foot. We're going to measure the posterior tibial artery too. So we're now inflating the calf cuff. And it's your job to, to read what the machine's doing. Or do you usually do? Um, we, well, I do this too. Okay. When we write down the numbers for the doctor and the machine will actually do some of the calculations for you. And, and then the doctor comes and does the final interpretation. Okay. So. While the person's still here, he does it, or do you have to? Uh, like, they can out? do it. Um, we had somebody who had a big ulcer or something that wasn't healing, and we need, and we thought that the pressures are very, very low, and we mm -hmm. needed immediate, or they'd lost their pulses in their foot. Um, we would get the doctor right there, and then it all depends okay. on the urgency of the patient's symptoms. So we're gonna do the thigh now. It's going to squeeze a lot. Okay. Yeah, it squeezes mm. pretty tight. Because I'm a muscle. Too. That's my leg done. Okay. So right there's the trace of the artery in her ankle, and as I push up the pressure, you'll see the, the trace go away. We're doing a segmental pressure. We're basically segmenting our leg down and taking pressures at, at intervals. And so, if there's a big drop from this cuff to this cuff, mm -hmm. we know somewhere from here down there's a blockage. Okay. Pressure drops after a blockage. So, it's a really simple idea. Well, with diabetic patients, they get calcium in the artery walls, and so the um, blood pressure is not always accurate because it can't it can't compress the artery like it can compress yours. So doesn't happen so much in the toe vessels, so a toe pressure is more accurate for somebody who's diabetic. Or if you've got an ulcer on the end of your toe and it won't heal, we can take a blood pressure right here and see if that toe is getting enough blood. Yeah, if we move, this is so sensitive that if we move, it actually picks it up, but there you go. The toe pressure? If you move it? Picks, um, if I do this, See how? Uh huh. Wow. 
So that's her, that's her toe trace. 